here is just a quick recap uh, so far we had built a next auth authentication system with the credentials we didn't implemented any uh, backend for this login system but we had implemented a sim uh, some dummy authentication in our code here are the credentials username must be some name and some password and if we enter some name and some password we are able to sign in into our application and we are simply could log out and if we go to the command prompt we can see some of the debugging options if we available next thing we, what we are going to implement in today's tutorial is the implementation of prisma we are implementing a backend database in the Next.js application. For the sake of the simplicity, we are not dealing with any kind of the complex databases. For the sake of simplicity, we are just using SQLite 3 database. I'm going to show you how simple it is to use an SQLite 3 database as a backend adapter in the next auth and with the prisma orm so what we are going to do is to navigate into the prisma documentation and in this documentation if uh, you press on the click start we are going to see and look for the commands that we need to add into our database and the next project First of all, we need to install install npm install Prisma Save Dev. So let's copy this code and uh, let's stop the server for now. Paste it and let the Prisma install as a development dependency. This Save Dev denotes that this library is going to be a development dependency. And the next thing, once the Prisma is installed, uh, we can set up the Prisma with the init command and uh, un, uh, we can mention the data source provider as an SQLite. So next command that we are going to use is this one. After that, we need to create a schema and we can use this simple schema, user and the post and uh, after that we'll just need to migrate so if you had worked with any kind of ORM previously in any other platform this Prisma ORM is pretty similar to them I'm going to focus the steps which seems so easy and to stick with it once it is installed we are going to prisma init data source provider sqlite so this could hopefully initialize the prisma as you can see we can now run the prisma commands as db pull and generate kind of commands and uh, we need to use the database url and uh, we'll let you know how we are going to deal with it if you go come back into your visual studio code and you will see a new folder has been added uh, called prisma and if you expand this it has a schema and in the schema you need to focus on this url the provider is sqlite and the url is database url and this is taken from the nway file and here you can see it uh, they mentioned that the database URL is file and dot dev dot db so when we use the command for creating the schema we need to put our new schema here so let's go back and pull the schema from here all we need to use is a model of user for now and let's remove this post here we are having an ID of the user integer type and the ID is default auto incremented value so we don't need to provide this 
and the second parameter is email string and it should be unique and the name which could be empty uh, we can add one more thing here password and this would be the kind of string and this should not be no so that's all for the schema for now and let's save this file go back to the command prompt and npx prisma migrate dev and you need to name your migration and uh, this name would be uh, user model added or anything you like let the uh, migrations generate it you will see a new folder of migrations under the prisma directory and here is the migration uh, that we just created and this is the schema that is written onto the SQLite database. So once the migration is uh, uh, generated you are good to migrate this and uh, it says that your database is now in sync and it automatically added the Prisma client library which we need to add into our npx npm folders and uh, this Prisma client is what we are going to use throughout our project the next thing we can simply do npx Prisma and migrate uh, you can optionally pass the dev parameter and it says prisma migrate dev npx prisma migrate dev and this command will simply uh, do all of your migrations and uh, now the user table is created into our database here you can see our db dev.db and your table is available into the prisma how you can verify this all you can do is you can simply use the prisma studio prisma basically provide you a studio to deal with all of your you need to run the command npx prisma studio and this will initialize a studio gui and you can navigate to the local host double five double five it is uh, local host colon five 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 and this is your prisma studio here you can see you have a user model and if you open up it will show you a simple uh, table like this you have no record record uh, just add an email test at gmail.com and the password hello123 and the name is uh, test now you uh, save changes and your table is created next you need to move to your next auth application and uh, just import the prisma client like this a new object of Prisma client and uh, this is Prisma and uh, this library Prisma client from Prisma slash client like this now you are good to use the Prisma once you have a record in your database you can navigate to your author authorized function and you can call um, Prisma client like this const db user you can name it whatever you like is equal to Prisma and you may need to await for this await Prisma dot user dot find unique and what you need to pass here is a where clause and pass a email and you need to check the credentials 
credentials dot username and uh, credential dot username first of all we fetch a user uh, with the email uh, if we provide a correct email it will fetch the user and uh, next thing we are going to check if the user exists and uh, the prisma actually find some user with this unique email id and if it does we just uh, print on the console and uh, here you can see it prints all of our user object here and next thing we are going to check if the db user dot password match with the credentials dot password and then we are going to return that user otherwise we are returning the null and if we go back to our app and we try to sign in and uh, if we provide the wrong credentials it will just pop us that sign in fails and if we provide the email but the wrong password it will still says the same and if we provide some wrong email and the password it will uh, still not allow us to log in but if we provide the correct email with the correct password it will let us signed in like this uh, the one more thing you may need to add is the hashing process and that hashing process will be added into the upcoming video where we are implementing um, the sign up page and uh, in the sign up process we are going to add some uh, encryption using the bycrypt library and we are adding some uh, user and creating a new entry into the Prisma um, ORM using the Prisma ORM into the SQLite database. So if you are interested in the future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you could be informed in the upcoming video. And that's all for today's video. See you in the next one.